Yeah, that celebration was short lived. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. A lot has happened over this past week since my last video when we, uh, you know, was getting rid of Roy Hodgson and appointing Oliver Glasner, but it has actually happened. I'll put it up there. Roy Hodgson has been replaced by Oliver Glasner. It's actually official now. I wasn't sure if it was gonna happen when I made the video on, what was it, Thursday I made the video, Friday. Um, but now today is Tuesday and it's actually confirmed. But that's not all. Full time at Goodison Park. For the fourth time we have played good as we have played Everton this season. And for the fourth time this season, we have not beaten Everton. Full time at Goodison Park. Everton won. Crystal Palace won. We went into this game pretty much managerless. We had Ray Lewington and Paddy McCarthy in the dugout. Paddy McCarthy was in the dugout last season for one game as well, in the 4-1 defeat against Arsenal. And that made me very concerned for this game, considering how before the game, Everton were 18th, four points behind us or five points behind us, and Crystal Palace was 16th going into this game. This made me ever the more concerned for the lineup that was coming out. And we saw Joel Ward at centre-back. I did not think I would see Joel Ward again this season. Not going to lie, putting Chris Richards in midfield, I thought this is going to be a very Roy-type performance. And I'm not being funny, it was kind of the opposite. We uh, dominated Everton in that first half, and I do think we should have at least tested them a bit more than we did. Mateta had a header from a corner that was cleared off the line by Ashley Young. Still can't believe we boo him for something that he did 11 years ago now, come on. But... Yeah, Everton didn't really do much in the first half. We should have capitalised and took a lead before half-time. Then in the second half, Everton was probing us a little bit more until Jordan Ayew struck first for Crystal Palace. It was a brilliant, brilliant strike from him outside the box with 20 minutes to go. And I really thought that we were going to be getting our first win away at Everton in just, just shy of 10 years. I mean, that is unbelievable that we've not beaten Everton at Goodison Parks in September 2014. That stat is still there. And obviously Everton have only got one more season left at Goodison Park. So only next season, if we stay up, that is, we've got one more season to put that stat right. But that was cancelled out by yet another concession from a corner. Swung in and headed in by substitute Amadou Onana. Um, and I think Johnston could have done better. The one player that played so well for us last night was Sam Johnston. Put him in goal over Henderson, please. Leave Henderson on the bench. Leave Johnston in goal, please, Glasner. You watched him for 90 minutes in the stand last night. Against This this is teed up. Glasner's first game at home against Burnley on Saturday. It's teed it up to be an, a game of absolute importance. And we need it. We need three points. Burnley are 19th. And we are 12 points above them in the Premier League still, even though we're 15th now. We should be getting three points. It's a must win. It's like Sheffield United. Burnley at home is an absolute must win. Was there anything that frustrated me about last night's game? Not particularly. I think everyone had everyone played quite well. I just think that Everton, I wouldn't say they got lucky, but you know they were fortunate to get a draw. Because I don't think they deserved it. We deserve three points, I think. So we just take the point and run. I, I, I think that's the way we got to look at it. I was also a little bit frustrated that we didn't see Mateus Franca. Uh, I thought with Roy Hodgson gone, he, we'd have seen a lot more of him. But um, he was on the bench. David Ozo came on. He played all right. Adam Wharton and Munoz, I think, played okay. The two new signings as well. So I think that was good in itself. And yeah, I just think in a relegation six-pointer like that, You've got to take whatever you can get. And unfortunately, we couldn't hold on to get all three points, which is what I'd love to get, because then Gladstone might have had the opportunity to push us a little bit further forward towards the end of the season. But no. But obviously, as usual, guys, I'm looking forward to the game against Burnley, Glasner's first game in charge. And this is the first time I have gone to a game where it's the first game in charge, if you like. Because Patrick Vieira's first Premier League game was away from home. Roy Hodgson's first Premier League game was at home to Leicester. But I weren't going because I was at work at the time. So this is the first time that I'm vlogging a manager's first game in charge, Oliver Glasner. So great. Can't wait for that. 
like, share and subscribe so you'll be able to see that vlog on Saturday. Not much for me to say, guys. 1-1, one, one, we played quite well. It's just that Everton got lucky in the end and got a point out of it. So, we are 15th, five points above the relegation zone with uh, Luton in 18th. And we're sandwiched in between, and sandwiched in between Palace and Luton are the two teams that are hopefully facing points deductions in Everton and Nottingham Forest. Not saying these point deductions are right, but I'm saying like, you know, we're hoping it for our sake. We're, we're hoping for our sake because that, that will more than likely keep us up. So I'm looking forward to the Burnley game. Like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.